Hey everybody, it's Joe from greenlightsound.com and today we're going to look at a very easy technique that allows us to add some top end sheen, some brightness, some kind of cut through on acoustic guitar parts using the Neve 88RS console channel strip from UAD and this tip actually comes courtesy of F. Reed Shippen. Check him out if you've never heard of him before. Lots of great engineering credits. But then if you're not on the UAD platform, I'm going to show you how you can match this technique with pretty much any stock EQ. We're going to use Fab Filter in our example. So the first thing I want to do is just listen to the acoustic guitar part with no processing at all. There are actually four different acoustic guitar parts all blended together. You get the idea, it's a pretty good recording already, but we need to open up the top end of the acoustic guitar and it's really two simple settings to do that. First, we're gonna take that top end EQ, set it to 11.5K on the top end, that's right between the eight and the 13 here, and we're gonna boost it almost to max, one notch below the max boost here. That becomes very bright and brittle. So to pull back on that a little bit, we engage the low pass filter, we put it right here at 8.5K, right between eight and nine. And that sort of tames that top end a little bit. And then we go from this dull guitar part to this process. And at first that seems too bright too much, but in the context of the full mix, it really helps it cut through. I'm gonna bypass it on and off as it plays. So a huge contrast in that top end being open on the acoustic guitars. Now, if we jump over to Plugin Doctor really quick, let's see exactly what's going on. I have the Neve 88RS here set up with the exact same thing. You've got your boost in the top end and the low pass filter sort of taming it. And this is the shape we get. So let's say you don't have this UAD Neve 88RS channel strip. We can copy this setting using pretty much any EQ, standard digital EQ. So what I did is pulled up Fab Filters Pro Q3 I match the curve here as best I could. You can see it's really, really close. And it was two simple moves. I had a bell boosting 5228.4 Hertz, 7.56 dB boost at a Q of 0 0.440. You can see that right on the screen. And then I had my low pass filter here at 10,183 Hertz. The Q is 1.050, 12 dB per octave. And that pretty much matched the slope there. And I saved it as a preset in Fab Filter as Acoustic Sheen Neve 88 RS. Now, if I jump back to that acoustic guitar part, I'm going to bypass the UAD here. I'm going to pull up the Fab Filter. I'm going to engage Fab Filter. Here's our Neve 88RS preset. And listen to this. Let's bring the Neve back up again. I'll bypass the Fab Filter. Here's the Neve. Fab Filter. And again, both bypassed. Here is the plain acoustic part. So they are very close. Again, Neve one more time. And Fab Filter. I mean, the Neve is slightly different, but probably not enough to warrant uh, investing in UAT if you're not already on there already. You can match very closely with the Fab Filter Pro Q3 or whatever stock EQ you have to kind of get that high end sheen while taming it a little bit on the top end. Of course, if you've got the Neve, you can use it that way as well. So there it is again, a tip courtesy of F. Reed Chippen. He uses the Neve 88 RS channel strip, which he also says is characteristic of the console itself to get that high-end sheen on guitar and how you can also match it using a pretty much standard digital EQ. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next. And I'll see you in the next one.